Russian beauty queen unable to close her eyes and smile again after undergoing plastic surgery to look young. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel to get updated when we drop hot news news updates. Please click on the notification bell. A Russian beauty queen identified as Yulia Tarasvik has been left deformed in the face following a series of botched surgeries. You know, people came out recently. I think a woman, a certain woman, I watched a documentary. I think it was online. I watched it and where she came out to say she actually went to reduce the fat in her stomach. You know, she went to remove the fat in her stomach. I mean, did she say remove? No, she went to remove the fat in her stomach and, you know, transfer it to her hips. And unfortunately, she got... She got. She sat down in the wheelchair for a long time. She now has even more problems. So she came out and she was like, you know, some of these things they put, they advertise it as harmless to you, but in the long run, not even in the long run, sometimes your 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 suffering start resumes immediately after you do the surgery. The news in detail. Please stay with us. The forty-three-year-old is now unable to close her eyes or smile after spending three thousand euro. Approximately 1.6 million naira to correct her aging. The mother of two has dragged the doctors who did the surgeries to court, stating that she had approached them with a beautiful, healthy face. Unless something drastic is done, for the three year old Yulia Tarakshvik may not smile or close her eyes again for the rest of her life. The Russian beauty queen was left with a deformed face after a series of unsuccessful plastic surgery to correct aging that cost her 3,000. 3,000 euros, approximately 1.6 million naira. Daily Mail reports that Yulia underwent surgery like facelift, mini liposuction, and a blessed ferrous cos cosmetic correction of eyelid at a clinic in Kranosdia, southern Russia. However, the mother of two would discover after recovering from the surgeries that she cannot close her eyes move large parts of her face or smile. She spent an extra 20 million euro, that's approximately 11.3 million naira. In a bit to correct the facial abnormalities, the 33-year-old who was a runner up in the Mrs. Russia International Beauty Contact in 2020 spent a whooping 20,000 euros approximately 11.3 million naira to no success. According to the Sun UK, Yulia has now dragged the two doctors, Andrew Komarov and Omer Khalid, involved in her original surgery to court, accusing them of malpractice. Reacting to Yulia's accusation, the surgeons claimed that the beauty queen had a rare genetic condition called scleroderma and that it was impossible to predict and deny any responsibility for a nightmare. Sleroderma leads to heart, thickening the rest of skin and can sometimes cause pregnant problems with internal organs and blood vessels as the victim's immune system attacks connective tissue under the skin. Meanwhile, the G.ONG previously reported that a lady who had spent 41.5 million naira to look like a baby said she cannot stop. According to Daily Mail, the 25-year-old Magdalene recently unveiled her latest round of surgery procedures after she got her fortnose job to make a baby nose as well as a cat eye. Reporting the procedure on social media, Magdalene gloated that her new face looks like an elf. Her top lip is not moving from the surgery. She added that her nose is swelling from the surgery and she is talking worldly. The mother recently posted a photo of herself eight days post-operation with a swollen face, bandaged. The lady got her first surgery at the age of 21 when she worked as a nightclub worker and an escort. Magdalene says she cannot stop growing her breast, which is free, which is 38 J. She says she will keep going so until she dies. Well, let me say this. This is actually a, a, a gentle reminder for all those who are feeling insecure about this body. Please let me say this to you. When you look at the mirror, when you stand and look as if on the mirror and you have the urge to feel insecure about your body, please be informed that this body will only stay with you temporarily. Yes. 
I don't mean you should not take care of it too. I don't mean you should not exercise. See, what you can do, the least you can do for yourself is number one, to accept your body. Love it. It is your body. It is housing. It is, if, what that body does for you, you cannot do for yourself. No, to be sincere. Accept it. Love it. Secondly, if you're best or you are looking um, thicker, you want to grow thinner, no problem. You work at it. You use exercise. I'm telling you, you use exercise and you use, you know, other means rather than surgery, rather than taking things that will wound you, rather than tablet. For those who are thin and looking for a thicker skin, and see, if you have tried and tried, it is time to love your body. Or you don't know, say, na lekpa na in the rain. Lekpa na in the rain, no. Lekpa, you will become a baby girl for life, ever young. You, your mates will be looking at you as someone who is lesser. Yes, in some circumstances, some people will say, eh, they look smaller, they look thinner, and they, nobody gives them respect. Auntie, your achievement will speak for you. Just walk, just be you and do you. Then on the other hand, for those who are feeling insecure about the body because they're obsessed, obsessed, look on the mirror and tell the body that you love it. Love your body. Nobody will love it for you. Don't listen to people who will come and bully you. The least you can do for yourself is to check how you eat. Check how you eat and exercise. Find exercise that work for you. The ones you see online, not, not all exercise will actually work for you. There are some people that bricks working will work for. That is working fast, fast will work for. Trekking long distances will work for. There are people that portion control will work for. There are people, and there are also fruits that even helps you. There are veggies. Instead of eating more of... Um, you know, starchy foods and proteinous foods, you know, meat, rice, yam, that, you know, everything here in Nigeria is made of. What do you do? You eat more of veggies and fruit. You do portion control. And you eat fruit that helps your metabolism works faster. That's it. And then you have it. At the end of the day, it is not even about the body last, last. Yes, a body might attract somebody to, you know, attract to you if you're somebody of the if you're looking talking about the opposite sex now it is if it is the opposite sex that is making you insecure or maybe even anybody any of the two genders just some your body